Hi everyone, it's Don, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, unfortunately though, today there's some sad news coming from Princess Cruise Lines. Last week, a woman went overboard on the Sun Princess cruise ship. They were on their way from Keelung to Okinawa, a Japanese five-day cruise. She was on board with her mother and her aunt, and they were sailing. Apparently, she went overboard around 6 a.m. in the morning. Um, they, at least this is when sorry this is when she was reported missing 6 a.m. in the morning uh, the crews quickly found the CTV footage of uh, the closed circuit TV footage of the, her going overboard they reversed course sent out the rescue craft and her body was discovered in the ocean around 7.13, just about an hour and 15 minutes later. Unfortunately, the best efforts to revive her were unresponsive and she was pronounced passed away on board. She was then stored until they got back to Okinawa where the Japanese Coast Guard and police boarded the cruise ship because there was some suspicion of foul play. Uh, they, you know, they always want to make sure nothing like that was actually the case in a, a person overboard at sea. So they boarded the cruise ship, they demanded to see the closed circuit TV, which of course Princess gave them gladly, cooperated 100%, there's no issues there. So there was a couple things that may have happened People were wondering, uh, you know, did she jump overboard? Did she fall overboard? Was this because of the her the typhoon that's going on in that area right now? Did that affect the ship? Maybe it was rocking more than normal in rough seas? Or was there foul play on board? And for some reason, the Coast Guard seemed to have thought perhaps foul play was the cause of this. So. They are under investigation right now. It has returned, like I said, to Okinawa and the investigation is ongoing as we speak. But the Coast Guard has all the footage. They've interviewed people and they've examined the lady on board as well for any signs of trauma or any signs of foul play. So hopefully, uh, either way, it's a bad story no matter what. But hopefully this isn't foul play on board. Hopefully it's just a horrific accident. Uh, I hate to hear of anything like that happening on ships. It's bad enough that does happen. Uh, either way, it's a sad story. I feel for the family. And again, this comes shortly, less than a week from another man going overboard on the Majestic Princess, where he did uh, jump overboard. So it's just one of those things ever since the year 2000 there have been over 346 instances of people passing away on cruise ships by going overboard that's not passing away on the ships that's going overboard one way or another for one cause or another and there are true accidents out there it's not all on purpose there was an you know you all, all remember maybe the, the video i did quite a while back of the lady who was getting on board a tender and slipped between the tender and the dock and she fell in the water they got her up and she was seen to be fine but then she went into cardiac arrest and passed away and that counts as going in the water as well so there are instances of this happening uh, crime is everywhere I'm hoping this isn't the case for this one I'll let you know if any reports come out for it but as you all know this is happening in Japan and China and we usually hear the initial report and it's very hard to hear the ongoing reports but i'll keep you posted if i do i hope you like this update if you did please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more tips more tricks more travel vlogs from around the world hit that subscribe button until next time have yourself a safe and a great vacation